Hey guys, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. Listen, my hair is a mess. Okay, my hair is a mess. I got the uh, beard coming out right now. So you know what that means. You know that the tea is going to be really good if I have not had the time to go get a haircut. Okay, like what the hell is going on? I feel like I look like Jalen Banks because y'all know he be all over Instagram with his hairline looking a mess. Um, with that being said, um, I want to go ahead and talk about Cynthia Bailey and her marriage troubles to Mike Hill, hashtag chill. And I'm going to go ahead and put up the transcripts and, you know, the sources and put up all of the receipts because a lot of y'all think I be lying. Okay, I don't know how my opinions are being interpreted as lies. Like, how can an opinion be a lie? Okay, spell that out for me. If I am presented something and then I present it to you guys and then I tell y'all what I think, how is what I think a lie? Okay, so to dispel y'all's lies about me lying, I'm going to go ahead and put up the transcripts. But I wanted to go ahead and read this quote from Behind the Velvet Rope, which is a podcast. I will link it down below. Mike Hill um, was on the podcast and he says something that was extremely alarming to me. Um, and I just wanted to very quickly get you guys' take on it, okay? So he went on Behind the Velvet Rope and was talking about his relationship to, of course, his wife, Cynthia Bailey. They uh, recently had an anniversary and hunty. Uh, it's not looking pretty. So he said, Sunday was our anniversary. I think he's talking about a couple of months uh, back last year. And then I took Monday off and had to go back to work on Tuesday. This is Mike Hill talking. He says, we basically stayed in town and went to this great hotel that's in town in West Hollywood. He says, we just chilled, went to dinner and enjoyed each other's company. But I'll say because we are also very transparent, yes, we argued. Okay, he said, we enjoyed each other's company, but yes, we argued. And I'm going to tell you right now that Sunday was great, but that Monday was like, we might not make it to another year. Okay, he said that following Monday, Mike Hill thought to himself, we may not make it to year two because it was just something that happened. I don't go too far into our business. It was nothing malicious. It was just a misunderstanding. A lot of the times it's just communication. Now, if I'm doing the math correctly, I'm trying to think. Mike and Cynthia got married in October of 2020. So October of 2021 would make it one year. Did I do the math right? Okay. So um, now they're going into year two of their marriage. So like I said, I'm assuming that this instance that he's speaking of happened last October, which was three, four months ago, something like that. October, November, December, less than three months ago. Um, and he says that the following Sunday after their um, you know, anniversary date, he thought to himself after an argument that they may not make it to a year or two, which is extremely alarming. But then he kind of, you know, eases us and calms us down by basically saying um, that it wasn't malicious. It was a misunderstanding. A lot of the times it's just communication. And we kind of saw this a little bit when Cynthia and Mike Hill were on like their second season or so on The Housewives when, you know, we saw the relationship dynamic when they're not great. One half of the relationship, they like to argue it out and talk it out. I'm like that sort of personality, personally, in my relationships. I don't like to leave a situation or leave the room without a resolve. I need resolution right then and there. We need to talk it out. We need to argue it out. We need to get over it now. Okay? That's how I am. And then you have some people who are like, you know what, I'm gonna leave this room. I'm not gonna deal with this right now before I say something that I regret later. And I'll come back to the conversation when I'm getting ready, right? And so I think Mike and Cynthia have one of those relationships where one person wants to fight it out, the other person doesn't wanna talk about it, and then you don't get anywhere, right? So there is some sort of lapse in communication. Um, but I just found it really interesting that he was open enough and transparent enough to actually kind of let us inside of his marriage by basically saying, yeah, we argued. And I thought to myself, we may not make it. OK, we may not make it, which I think is quite interesting because we know that one of the reasons why Cynthia Bailey left the housewives is because she wanted to save that marriage. Mm. Well, maybe she wasn't lying about this situation. If Mike is thinking to himself that they're not going to make it to a year or two. 
Maybe it was um, in the best interest of Cynthia and her marriage not to rejoin the housewives, even though we know that's not why she really quit. Okay, she really quit because she was trying to save herself the embarrassment of being demoted from a housewife to a friend of. But I digress. So y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about that situation um, in the comments. If you're in a relationship or in a marriage, what is like the best advice you could give somebody? Like, what is it? What does it take? for a relationship to work. And have you ever been in a situation where one person wants to argue it out until you get to a resolution and then the other person wants to leave the situation and come back to it later? I hate things like that. I really do. I really hate things like that. Like, no, we need to fight it out, okay? We need to solve this right now. So y'all gotta let me know in the comments down below. I am rooting for Cynthia and my kill. Okay, um, a lot of people will interpret me gossiping or talking about their relationship as me like coming down on it, but I'm absolutely not. Um, I'm rooting for them because I absolutely adore Cynthia Bailey. Um, I loved her on Ultimate Girls Trip. I actually like her now that I know that she's not filming on The Housewives, uh, which is kind of effed up, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, and I really like Mike Hill, even though he's known to be a cheater. Um... I still find him to be a really upstanding guy. So I don't know. I'm rooting for them. I'm hoping for the best, but I definitely want to know what you guys think about the situation in the comments down below. So I'm going to go ahead and log off. I love you guys. And don't forget to create a great day.